Hello, welcome back to 9-4. We're talking context problems with logarithmic models, and uh, this is the second part. We're going to cover another example and then another practice problem. Okay, so here you go. The acidity level, or pH, of a liquid ranges from 0 to 14 and is given by the formula pH equals log uh, of 1 over H+. plus where H plus is the concentration in moles per liter of hydrogen ions in the liquid. Describe the domain and the range of the function, include restrictions. So let's go back in and let's highlight our function here. pH is equal to log of one over H plus. And we need to identify the domain. What's our input? What are we plugging values in? So here, H plus, this is our uh, independent variable and that's going to serve as our domain okay so i'll say here um, the domain is the concentration of hydrogen ions in the liquid okay, and I'll just I'll put in in parentheses this is H plus okay and um, it is comma in moles per liter those are the units moles per liter Okay, so again, before we get to uh, restrictions, I want to go ahead and go back to <clears throat> my um, formula. So here I have pH. This is the output. This is the dependent variable. Dependent variable. Okay, so this is our, our range, pH. And uh, pH is the acidity level. So we can say the range is the acidity level um, of a liquid. <clears throat> Sorry, man, I'm, I'm sick. My, my throat. Uh, acidity level of a liquid, and this is pH, the pH level. And the restrictions, right, the restrictions they tell us here from 0 to 14. From 0 to 14. Okay, so there's your range with the restrictions. I know that the pH, right? If you remember back to chemistry last year, pH is, is ranging from 0 to 14. So that being said, what is the domain of, of the function? Well, if we look at our, at our um, formula up here, notice that our independent variable is in the denominator. So remember a logarithm is one it has an output of sorry an output of zero at one so we can ask ourselves okay what would make this argument one well if my denominator is one then my argument is one right one divided by one gives us one so uh one will produce zero okay so if i plug in one i get a ph of zero okay well now how do i increase my output right it has to go to to 14. well uh, in the previous problem, notice our our inputs, right? We're in the in the numerator, okay. And um, if you think about a fraction, right? Um, the bigger I make the the denominator, the bigger the output is going to be, right? So, um, or sorry, vice versa. If I increase the denominator, the smaller the output is going to be, right? So, like for example, if I was to increase the denominator, what's one divided by two? 0.5. What's 1 divided by 4? 0.25. What's 1 divided by 10? So you see as, as we increase the denominator, our outputs get smaller. And that actually takes us below um, what we want, where, right? Which is 1. So we're going to have to uh, make the denominator smaller, right? To get a bigger output. Okay, so um, 1 is actually going to be our upper bound. And then our lower bound, okay, what, what value can h plus not be? Well, it can't be 0 right so that's our restrictions so zero to one in moles per liter, moles per liter 
where um, zero is less than h plus, which is less than or equal to one. Okay, and again, if you have a calculator, if you if you want to kind of test these out, um, we can go ahead and punch in um, log. Oh, it's not log. Log base ten of one divided by, and we can make it something super small like point one. And we get one. Okay, so um, that just shows you that you're 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 um, on the right track with your domain and range. Okay, so there's domain and range of this problem, right? And you really have to utilize your your critical thinking here. Um, these are not kind of very very uh, easy to calculate, so you have to do some thinking. All right, so part B. It says in a typical chlorinated swimming pool, the concentration of hydrogen ions ranges from 1.58 times 10 to the power of negative eight moles per liter to 6.31 times 10 to the negative 8 moles per liter. What is the range for the pH of a typical swimming pool? So we're going to utilize our, our, our uh, formula. pH is equal to log of 1 over, and we'll use our, our first value, so 1.58 times 10 to the power of negative 8 okay okay and this will be equal to and we go ahead and just plug it into our calculator I've kind of already pre-done that here and we get 7.8 right and our problem says round to the nearest tenth so this is approximately 7.8 okay so I need to go ahead and I need to find the pH of the other endpoint so log of 1 over, and here they say 6.31 times 10 to the negative 8th power, okay? And this will be approximately 7.2 after we plug that into our calculator. If you're having trouble um, getting these values, a couple of things. One, make sure you're using the, the common log. You need to have a common log. And then secondly, if you're putting in one divided by these values, make sure your denominator is in parentheses. You have to kind of parenthesis off your, your denominator if you're using a TI-30, just a regular kind of like what my classroom calculators look like, okay? So this is 7.2, okay? So let's go ahead and write our conclusion, and we can say the range in pH for a typical swimming pool is from about 7.2 to 7.8, okay? And there you have it. So here is a practice problem. Please go ahead, pause the video. I want you to try this, and then I'll, I'll show you the answers. Okay, so hopefully you have done um, parts A and B, and here is the solution. The domain is the intensity of the sound in watts per square meter, where the restrictions are greater than or equal to 10 to the negative 12 watts per square meter. Range is the intensity level of the sound in decibels, okay, where the intensity level is non-negative or greater than zero. So part B, um, what is the intensity level of a rock concert um, with a sound intensity of 3.2 watts per meter squared, and that would be about 125 decibels. All right, that is it for solving um, context problems involving logarithmic models. Catch you next time. Peace.